everybody, Linda Carroll here from my studio, Gather of Great Things, and Magical Mondays are back. I have been working on some collages, kind of exploring uh, the uh, themes that we were exploring on Magical Mondays, and I thought I'd flip back through some of the collages we've done on past Mondays, and then uh, we'll introduce the new new collage we're going to be doing today. This one was the first one we did in the series and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. Uh, on Mondays we've been exploring surreal collage and working with backgrounds and imposing a collage onto a background or into a background. And this one was the first one that we did. It was the Flamingo Totem. And this one had a, a mountain scene in the background and all of the, or most of the images were really contrasted by this blue sky in the background that was refracted in this light bulb here in the middle. And what we're doing is combining a lot of different uh, items and objects that really don't have a reason to be together. And in this one, I created a totem um, of objects and uh, I, I just really enjoy working with this style of collage and have continued to work on it for a while now. So the next one I think we did was this Venus uh, rising from the sea. And this one was a lot of fun. We had the background of the beach and the foam from the ocean here in the background coming up. And we have the juxtaposition of this giant goddess-like figure in this seashell and then these tiny Lilliputian kind of children um, on, the, on the beach. And of course the pooties up here in the, in the corners. And then we did the hippopotamus picnic. And this one was set on a pier jutting out into a lake. And again, I really enjoy working with this medieval style of, of painting. It's really super realistic style of painting. And we're going to work with an image similar to this in today's collage. We worked with perspective in here. And also, I love the whimsy in, in these images. And uh, we have the moon kind of smiling down on the scene. And then we did, um, we did blossoming, I think this was called, or blooming. And this one, she has the flower pointed down. Um, I did another one with the flower pointing up. So playing with the images, playing with all the different characters and everything. And, um, all the contrasts that you see in these collages, I think, add to the, the interest in the collage. And on these first sets of collages, most of them had this little mouse that ran through the series. But today, we're going to work on something a little bit different and still working kind of with the totem idea. And I have here an example, the layout that I originally did to figure out the sizes that I wanted each item and the colors and how the colors work together and contrasted with one another. So if you want to follow along and do this collage with me, these collage sheets are on my Etsy site, Gatherer Great Things, and you can see that right here. Okay, there's seven sheets in the, in the kit, 
and the first sheet has uh, a number of the items that I used in the collage that you can cut out. The second sheet has the rest of the items. There are backgrounds, and in this particular collage, I played a lot with the background. And in the kit, you can do the same because I've included a number of backgrounds that you can use in these surrealistic collages. Um, <clears throat> not only in this one, but I'll continue using these backgrounds. This one is where I got the plate with the flowers on it right here. And then there's the goldfish background that is um, also one that I experimented with with this collage. This is the one I ended up using and really liked, and you'll see why. Um, a lot of it had to do with the fact that this is a jungle scene, so it kind of fit with the giraffe highway, although I think most giraffes don't spend too much time in this part of the jungle. They're out on the savanna. But the colors work so well with this jungle background. And then you have the mountain background that I used in one of the previous collages. And in this one is actually free on my Facebook page, Linda Carroll Art Creative Community. So if you, if you want to download this one for free, you can do that in my community site and it's easy to join and just answer a couple questions and then when you're approved you can download all the freebies on there and this one is through the window and through the window looks out upon the ocean so these are the ones these are the backgrounds that I played with in this particular collage but this is the one that I'm going to use today but I'll show you how the collage looks on the other backgrounds at the end of this at of this video so I'm going to take a minute and cut out all my images and I'll be right back everything is cut out and I think you can see why I chose the images that I chose and uh, curated them the way that I did in order to put this collage together. If you look at the sizes of the images, if you look at the colors that run throughout um, all of these images, <coughs> excuse me, I think you'll know why um, these images came to the forefront for me when I was when I was looking for things to use in this particular collage so let's start working on this as I said earlier I chose this jungle background and I really love the fact that it's busy but also it kind of fades in color as you get to the top of the image um, so that the, <clears throat> the collage images will stand out even more. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of plant my plate with or bowl with the flowers on top and down here in the middle of my collage. And as I look at this, I think it stands out enough from the background that I don't think I have to put any highlights or anything. But what I don't like are some of these little tiny white edges that are showing up here. So I'm going to use, I'm gonna use this archival ink. It's waterproof and I know it's dark enough to take care of these edges. So I'm just going to put some on my applicator and go around. I, I want these 
edges just to be touched really on the outside. I don't want um, anything really on the flowers themselves. I just want to hit this outside edge with the coffee. And it'll just let those um, let those white edges fade into the background instead of standing out. And just go around the entire piece. Okay. Just a little bit right here. All right. I like that better. And you know, I lay out my whole collage first before I glue anything down. So we've got our flowers down here at the bottom. And then the next thing I want to introduce is the is the giraffe. And I want the giraffe to look like he's standing in the flowers, really um, on the plate somewhere. So he's gonna be behind these flowers down here at the bottom. him okay and again I'm gonna go around and um, just hit a couple spots where I can see some of these white edges because I really want this to blend into the background I don't want any white edges distracting the viewer. Okay, do I want question here? Do I want part of the foot here? Um kind of over top of this flower. I'm thinking that I might and let's see where this foot is. This is the back foot. These are the back feet. These are the front feet. No, I really don't think I can do that because it'll, I think it'll look like um, they're standing on flowers. So, let me get him exactly where I want him to be.
Again, I'm looking at edges and I want my edges okay I think I think that's good okay <clears throat> so next thing I want to do is place the telephone but I want more of the telephone to show um, I want the edge of this telephone to show down here so what I'm gonna do is cut around this flower and see what happens Got this telephone and see. And then I can take these flowers and let's just see. I kind of put them in here. And I think that makes the um, the piece look like the, the phone is sitting down in the flowers. Now, I think I want to take one of these. And I want to put this... behind the telephone. Let's, let's see what happens if we put this not only behind the telephone, but behind here. So if we slide the telephone in here, I want this corner out here. So that makes the giraffe look like he's standing amongst the flowers here. And I think if I cut around here, Have this here. I can see flowers sticking out here on the edges. And 
and I did break my telephone cord here. And I'm going to have to be careful when I glue it that Okay. Now, the only thing I don't like are these little pieces of this plate sticking out here. So, I'm going to get rid of those. And I'm just going to snip that off. On both sides. Okay. So, we've got our phone in here. We have some flowers behind the phone. So, it looks like it's tucked down inside the flowers. All right. So, we have the Kingfisher perched here on the telephone like so and then we have the orange sitting on top of his head so just kind of barely touching his head and then we have the teapot sitting on the top of the orange. Okay, him up a little bit further. All right. Then we have the chicken, or maybe it's a rooster, I'm not sure. Now he's gonna he's here gonna ride on the back of um, this giraffe. So his back leg needs to go behind the giraffe and his front leg needs to go in front of the giraffe. And he's perched up here like that. And then the teacups are balancing on his head like that and then we have the reason for the name of this collage which is which is giraffe highway and we've got this um, bug this Volkswagen Beetle traveling here along the neck of the giraffe and that's basically our collage and then to make it a little bit more surreal um, let's add some fish kind of swimming through the jungle and I <laughs> and you know I love my fish right so let's kind of put these fish which you know the colors on this fish on these fish um, work so well with the rest of the colors in this collage and we can have a fish up here kind of out swimming the beetle and I think I want one up here now down here we've got a lot going on so I think I just want part of the fish Maybe there, and maybe just the tail of the fish up here. Okay, so if I work from back to front on this collage, I need to glue down my fish first. And again, I'm gonna just go around these edges 
and get rid of any little telltale uh, white paper that is showing on these fish. And we'll start gluing down our collage pieces. You know, I love I, I love building these scenes on these backgrounds. And I think you'll find that all the different backgrounds that I've chosen to include in this kit, the images work on all of these backgrounds. It's just a matter of what you want your piece to look like, you know, and what kind of uh, message or story you want to tell. And obviously I chose to have a story taking place in a jungle here and having all of these images, which, you know, these images normally would not go together at all. There is nothing in here that would seemingly be related or connected to anything else in this collage. But what I like about it is when you do a collage like this, everything is connected anyway, I believe. And when you do a collage like this, that belief is expressed in this collage. And, um, and I like, I like that world. I like, I like the fact that, or my feelings or thoughts or beliefs that the everything in the world can communicate or be connected to everything else. You know, what a great world that would be. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish gluing this down. And, um, and then I'll be back and we can take a look at this collage on this background and then take a look at the collage on, on other backgrounds. So I'll be back. I'm going to speed this up.
I'm going to trim the overhanging pieces on here. trim from the back because I can see where my scissors line up with the paper so I don't cut into the background paper. Okay, so here we are on with our giraffe highway. And I think it's kind of fun. <laughs> so, and I have an extra plate of flowers here. So, that can be used in another collage. Now, when everything dries and all, I'll go, um, I'll go over this probably with a sealer and make sure everything's down in place. But that is my surreal magical collage for the day. And let me show you how this collage looks on other backgrounds. As I said, when I started this particular collage, I laid it out just on a green green background so I could size everything and make sure my colors were were good. This is printed on just regular copy paper and I have to say I like the color of the bug better on copy paper than this is printed on presentation paper because I ran out of my um, matte photo paper. So this is on presentation paper because it's it's heavier but I really like the color of this red bug here. All right, this was how I laid it out originally, and I liked it, but it there wasn't it didn't seem to me to be any depth in it. It's flat, absolutely flat. And when you lay it out on a background like this, you have a lot of depth, especially since we doubled the flowers down here at the bottom and we have these images in, in front of the background of the of the jungle. So I wanted to find out what it would look like on the background of the mountains. So I did a little work in Photoshop and I um, I did not double the flowers here and I think you can see the difference in that the giraffe really does look like he's standing in among the flowers and the phone looks like it's really down uh, in the plate of flowers. But this one I liked um, because of the blue sky. With the blue sky in the background you can see all the images and everything. But I, I really liked this one better. It just seemed to be, there seemed to be a lot more going on. You know I'm kind of liking the extreme collage um, and a number of different images and so on and so forth. So this one is, this one appealed to me the most. But this is what it looks like laid out on the mountain background and you may like that a lot better. Um, I did change some things when I did this one. Um, I moved the fish more into view in this one and on the collage sheet on the kit I picked up the peach color of the telephone here in this cup up here at the top and also in the saucer so I was still tweaking when I was making making the kit so that's the mountain background, and you might let me know down in the comments which one you like the best. 
Okay, this one is on the original painting that I took this plate from. And it looks as though the giraffe is standing down here among these vegetables down in the bottom. And I really like that a lot. <clears throat> so, and again, it's busy, but you can go in, it's kind of like an I Spy book when you go in and try and, and see where all the images are. I like that I moved these uh, fish and had them more visible in this one. It kind of balances out this, this corner up here. Okay, so that is the painting of the fruits and vegetables. This one is on the background of the goldfish. And I like that because it looks like these fish are kind of in the foreground just swimming around in the air. But yet you have these goldfish behind this plate of flowers. And again, you can see all the images really, really clearly. But I still go back to this one. I love this one. Now this one is on the background of the uh, the window looking out over the ocean. And this one probably you can more clearly see uh, the collage. And it is definitely surreal as this plate of flowers is sitting in front of this window with the ocean beyond. But yet the fish are swimming through. Okay, so which one did you like the most? Like I said, there's the jungle background, there's the goldfish background, there's the flowers in the, I call this a stacky, um, in this double, uh, double plates here in the background. This is the mountain background. This is the green background. And this is the window opening up and looking at the ocean background. So leave a comment below if you would. I'm interested to see uh, which one most of you are liking, liking the most. Okay, so that's it. This is our Giraffe Highway on this magical Monday. And I hope you enjoyed that. Let's see. I have one of my one of my little signature blocks here that I made for my last collage that I did. This one's a little dark. Let me see. I like this one. And that one would go right down there in that corner. like that a lot. Okay. So thanks for watching. I hope if you're new here that you uh, enjoyed watching me build this collage and that you will subscribe to my channel and ring that uh, bell notifier to let you know in, uh, when my next video is indeed up online. So I hope you're having a great Monday or Monday evening or a great day or evening whenever you're watching this. Uh, I hope to see you again really soon. Many blessings to you. Bye for now.